All right, so something has finally arrived after I have no idea how long it's been. Way past the Kickstarter promise date, that's for sure. And that is the fort. And let's take a look. This thing is pretty heavy in the box. Um, right now it says that it is 44.66 pounds. And here I have the golf color one, um, which is kind of like this color right here. And it's one of the last ones to be in stock. That's why it took so long for them to send it to me. And yes, I did pay the $99 um, speed freight shipping just because I was tired of waiting. Um, I did get a discount on it initially as I was one of the first few that got the 50% off or according to them, many people got that 50% off. So I have no idea what's true or not. But yes, um, this one's way too heavy for me to bring upstairs. So I'm gonna unbox it here, down here in my son's room. Let's see what's in here. Gotta be careful, I do not want to accidentally cut any of the foam pieces here. Let's go ahead and show you guys what is up in here. So it looks like it is. Um, go, I'm gonna need two hands for this. I'm gonna put the camera back down. All right, so first impression versus something like the Nuggets. Definitely don't think this box is as pretty as the Nugget box. I like that nice orange box you get. Um, it makes it very exciting. Here, it's not quite like that. Um, let's take a look again. Um, you can see that they have the colors here, and it looks like they actually have a few more colors that's going to be on the way, as um, I only remember the five colors of Heron, Bluebird, Peapod, Cascade, and Golf. And maybe this one as well. The bottom six colors, I do not remember seeing anywhere. So maybe there are future colors. Okay, let's go ahead and open this and see what's in here. Bam. What is in here? They do use a lot of tape, so... Okay, so I think these are the covers. Uh, not really sure what packaging stuff that is. Let's go ahead. Okay, so let's take a look at the material here. So um, it's kind of hard to tell, but it feels, yes, kind of like the uh, faux leather like they said it would be. Um, here are the magnet sections. I know that many people have been complaining about how their magnets are. So let's take a look and see if mine's one of the bad ones or not so good ones i'm not sure what's considered bad or good i didn't do too much reading into it um, as i didn't want to be too biased and see what other people are saying about it so this is how it's all done hmm okay um it seems dirty enough i don't feel like it will come out i don't think my son will be able to get to it so uh, i'll have to take a look and see what other people are complaining about because I think it seems pretty decent right now so far. I don't know how long it'll last if it gets pulled a lot, but um, I don't imagine my son opening it and taking it out. Um, he is right now two and a half years old, so I don't imagine him doing it. Maybe when he gets older, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, they all seem pretty sturdy so far. All right, so this is one of the larger pieces it looks like. And then this one is one of the crescent-shaped ones. Another crescent shape. Arch. Another one of the little arches. <clears throat> a triangle piece. Another triangle. It's a little rectangle piece. Looks like, yep. Another rectangle. And more rectangles. And more rectangles. Another large square. Alright. So it seems like there are... Yeah, um, look online and you can see the pieces available, but yeah, that's how they look. Now that's for the fun part, the foam. Oh, I hate these, but I guess you need a way to... I might need to get scissors for this, as this is not cutting it. I'll be back with scissors. Alright, so I got some scissors, I gotta get this open. Um, maybe I shouldn't have cut it yet. Well, let's just pour it out. Definitely unboxing the nugget was a little bit easier. Everything was all nicely done in one thing. Um, but I do see why they had to have two separate things. Oh. 
if I can ever get it out. Well, definitely not easy. Okay. As you can tell, a little out of breath, probably because I'm out of shape. Um. There's the magic of everything. The foams. So let's take, let you guys take a closer look at how they are packaged. So, these look like the two triangle pieces and everything. It's one after another. All right, let's go ahead and open these. Glad I brought the scissors because scissors are going to be much easier than trying to use that blade I had. Just trying to be careful not to cut into any of the foam or anything. So the foam's already starting to expand. I'm sorry about any of this plastic noise. There's a lot of plastic, so uh, it's kind of can't help it. Let me see if I can find the triangle pieces over here. All right, let's see how it looks once I put it in. You know, one thing I did notice is that they don't have any, uh, so far at least I haven't seen any like instructions or anything kind of telling you how long it takes before these are full, um, I guess, uncompressed size. So I'm not sure what's that about. There's no literature in it at all so far. Um, it's been a while since I've unboxed a nugget, so I'm not sure if the nugget had any instructions as well. I feel like the nugget at least had something in there telling you what to expect, but I cannot remember. It seems like it's already pretty much already uncompressed to the max already. Well, almost. So compared to the nugget covers, these do feel like they're slightly easier to kind of put in. And that's how it looks. Uh, not a huge fan of how um, you can see the zipper quite easily. That might be enticing for a child to try to reach for it. So maybe that's what people are complaining about. Uh, but Ovar, so far, it seems that the foam fits pretty well inside this triangle piece. All right, so me putting this foam and unboxing this is going to be pretty boring. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward for you guys um, after everything is done. So you don't really need scissors. Um, let me see, yeah. So there is these little tear spots on each of the plastics that allows you to just easily rip the bag open. All right, so I finally was able to put all the foams inside their covers, each one of them. Um, this is my first impression is that, let me if I can find it. It's actually not as bad as I thought for the zippers. Um, I think it's going to be pretty hard for any child to get it in. As you can tuck the zipper in, as you can see, it's tucked in pretty well in there. And uh, it's kind of hard to get out. So unless um, I probably need two hands or kind of dig it in like this slowly. Let me see if I can get it out. Nah, I cannot get it out with one hand. I'll need two hands to get the zipper out. So it tucks in there fairly nicely. So um, I really don't think my son would get to it. And I think if a child is able to be old enough to get to it, I hope that they understand to not rip out the magnets. Um, speaking of magnets, yeah, let me see if I can find one real quick. The stitching on them isn't exactly what I would call top a notch. Um, here, as you can see, this one right here, it's slight imperfections, but it's like that on all of them. But I mean, they do have a lot of magnets on each of these units. And here I have it right next to a nugget, just so you can see the size comparisons. Um, height wise, of course, if you put all the pieces together, the fort is taller, but they're actually significantly smaller than the nugget. Let me see if I can move these out the way real quick. And as you can see, um, yeah, here you go. They are smaller than the nuggets. Easier to see this way. There we go. Not perfect alignment, but you can see how much smaller they are than the nuggets. And um, thickness-wise, um, they are actually not too bad. Each one of them is fairly close to the thicker nugget size. 
so the thickness is not too bad however i don't know if it gets more firm later um nugget does seem to be a lot more sturdy if you're stepping on it or something at least for the big one these still feel very soft right now i'm not sure if later on they'll get a little bit more sturdy in this all right scratch that earlier i mentioned that they tuck in pretty nicely but apparently it's not the same for each unit. The triangles are really nice and hard to get out. However, the rectangle pieces here, um, a lot of it sticks out. Um, I cannot push it in any further. So it's quite easy for anyone to just rip, open these up here on this side. So I really wish that they had made it um, able to tuck in like the triangle pieces. And I do see that they seem to have room here. I'm just not sure if maybe this is not. It's not done properly or something that the zipper doesn't go all the way down like it's supposed to um, then it would be nicely tucked away because there's plenty of room right here all right so now that i've kind of had a chance to play with it just for a little bit um, what is my first impression as this is that's what this video is about unboxing and first impression i'll have to kind of play with it a little bit more and let my son play with it a little bit more for the full review for now i'm just wanting to let you guys see how everything is um, well let's take a look I do like how the magnets are decent amount of strength. Um, it takes a little bit to pull them off and kind of pull them apart. So that's nice. However, um, when it comes to this material, it's kind of a love-hate right now, I think. Um, I like how it's a faux leather, so it's easy to clean and wipe off anything that gets on here. But um, as you can see, uh, that well, I don't know if you can see it, but they are actually creased in already in the material from shipping. So I don't know if these will kind of disappear over time or more crease will actually happen well, the more you use them. And another thing I really don't like um, is that this little part right here, this flap, instead of hiding the zipper, it kind of calls attention to it. So I really wish that they actually kind of did like what the nugget does and just let people know that there's a zipper there. Um, the next thing I want to gripe about um, is that I wish that they are all able to hide the zipper as well as this arch moon. So the arch moon, the triangle piece, and the square, large squares hide the zipper very well on my units. The rectangles and these arch pieces do not hide them well at all. And let me show you what I mean by that. Let's go and take this off real quick. Let's get this arch piece out. So this arch piece here, um, I was like, showed you earlier that it's not very well hidden. Another thing I don't like about this arch piece is that it's very flimsy. Uh, not sure how well this is gonna hold up in the long run, so we will have to see on that part. Um, but yeah, so far that's my first impression on the fort. Um, um, it's not all bad, but it's not as good as I was expecting as well. Especially not for the price they're gonna be charging for it. Um, maybe time will tell, but for now, I'll let my son play with it a little bit more and I will get back to you guys with the review. And if you have any questions about it, let me know down below in the comment sections and I'll try my best to answer it if I know the answer to them. And I'll catch you next time.